So I wake up every day and think about reputation. It's what we measure, it's what I measure my team on. When we do our annual reputation research, this is where we're tracking by stakeholder audiences, how much faith they have in us, how much trust they have in us. So I truly wake up every day to protect and enhance the reputation of my company. And I think that's at the core of everything that we do, all the story time that we do. But the reality is, and we all know this, our government is <coughs> shut down right now, right, for nine days, um, which is actually really affecting our business right now. So I can imagine it's affecting almost everyone's business. Trust is low. Trust in government is low. Trust in business is low. There's a great piece of intellectual property that you, you all probably know, which Edelman puts out on an annual basis at the World Economic Forum Davos <coughs> event. So this is six, seven, eight months old at this point, and they relaunch it in the first quarter every year at Davos. And it's called the Trust Barometer. And I think it's a really interesting piece of intellectual property. And they post it on the web, so you can just Google it on their website and grab it and, and take a look at it. But over time, and it's more than a decade old now, they track trust by institution, by country, and then they look for different trends and differences year over year, and they kind of zoom in to figure out what's going on. The seven characteristics that really, to me, embody what a communications leader today looks like. And it's all about being alchemistic and very experimental. It's all about being quick to synthesize a sea of information, but within the chaos to see trends and opportunities that you can really zoom in on. Being agile, quick, but a voracious learner who's always taking in the inputs uh, and the latest trends. A master of influence, meaning the ability to drive an internal agenda, the external agenda, to bring disparate parties together, to coalesce around one thing that you want all of them to accomplish, someone who's concise and able to convey all of that. So with social, with digital, with everything that's changed, I almost walked away from this function. I came running back because I really believe that reputation is the number one most critical thing for any business, any government, any NGO, and it's what we all do. So I think we have lifetime employment guaranteed. You picked the right majors. <laughs> and it's a really exciting time to be in our field.